it's that whole perception versus reality thing. Everybody else on the road, like, oh, cool, check out that guy driving his Ferrari. He must be loving life. Me? Definitely not loving life. and I introduce to you the most frustrating failure ever to happen on a Ferrari. As you see, the door flush is closed, right? So the pro, and that makes the window go up. The problem is that it won't latch and lock and there's no way to force it to lock once it's closed. Usually the striker, will, the, the thing will get stuck down and, and it bounces off the door because you have to pop that up. Well, that's not the problem here. The latch, won't close and I have to drive with the door open. Now luckily wind goes this way but that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to figure something else out. So now I've got my, and I'm, this is not uh, the purpose of this, but normally I'd use a ratchet strap but I do not have a ratchet strap handy so I have an Anson belt that I'm going to tie around the door and hope it reaches and it should, my lap, and then I can attach it to my belt because I will be fixed and sitting, and we should be able to get that to work like that. All right, let's give this a whirl. All right, let's see, oh, I think we got this. Now, the reason I have to secure it like this is because I don't have anything to tie the other half of the belt. the door closed how much more room do I have on my adjustable belt let's go to the end all right I th and I brought pants just in case that wasn't long enough I brought pants because then I could sit on the pants and attach it to the pants with the second Anson belt which I brought there <laughs> now let's get this show on the road there we go. There we go, because I think, unfortunately, it's gonna rain, which would be bad. So, this is happening. But it works. Ah. Now let me stay in the lane here. All right, little downside is it keeps opening the window door keeps opening. Let me just crack the window a little bit so it stops doing that. But, yeah. Definitely thinks the door is... Well, it knows the door is open. So do I, considering I have it tethered to my belt. But, it's working. I seem to remember that the car didn't let you drive when the door was open. That was a bigger problem. Luckily, now at least I can drive with the door open. So it's starting to drizzle, but I'm pretty much here. Hello, bird. Whoop. Whoop. Not good. Not good. Close door. Hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Strength test. Shut the door. Shut the door. Give it a little hip action. All right. Pulling that with my hands. We're good. And look, it's starting to rain. And I beat it. Let's go slow so the door doesn't whip open and at the wall. Oh, the timing doesn't get much better, nor does this garage full of cars. When I say made it in the nick of time, we're talking. The rain hath cometh. That's one red light away from getting soaked. Just to be clear, this now makes six of six. So all three of my Ferrari 360s, the coupe, both door latches, driver, passenger. The convertible, the blue posi blue convertible, driver's side door, passenger side door. Now this one, the driver's side door, if you remember, 
broke, but imagine they both broke at the same time. If they both broke at the same time, I wouldn't be able to get in the car. That's something I haven't even thought about uh, addressing, but it worked. Now, a ratchet strap, if you have to think about it, like the belt is really the only thing that works here because even a ratchet strap wouldn't reach because there's only a handle on this side. There's no handle on the other side and you can't tie it to the steering wheel and you probably don't want to tie it to the e-brake. So this is pretty much the only plausible solution that made any sense. And now we got to take this door apart. And luckily it's only like a $350 fix plus maybe an hour of labor, but it is really frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating that, and something that's so basic, it's, it, it can't be that the complexity of a Ferrari 360 door handle is so outlandish. I don't know, it's just like a door handle. It's something so basic, so easy. The fact that the fail rate is 100% makes me slightly annoyed by it. But now that I've got, well, I'll have one more. I'll have two new ones in there. We'll be good to go, but just something to keep an eye out on. If you have a door handle that breaks in your Ferrari, make sure you fix it and attend to it immediately, because if you don't, you may end up in a situation where you're locked out. And dare I say, we'd end up having to go through the roof or something like that, and that could get really expensive. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.